Okay, so one of the most important skills that you need in math and in science is the ability to work with formulas. And uh, what we're looking at right here is a formula from physics. Uh, so the formula is F is equal to M times V squared over G times R. And the question is we want to solve for V or rewrite this equation in terms of V. Okay, so if you can figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the formula one more time. So F is equal to M times V squared over G times R. And what we're looking to do here is solve for V. So V is equal to what? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. V is equal to the square root of F times G times R over M. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely deserve a happy face and A plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence because you are clearly a certified professional expert in the area of working with formulas. All right, now for those of you out there that are a little bit lost, well, the first thing that we have to make sure you know how to do before you can work with a formula is you gotta be able to solve equations in algebra, okay? So the way this kind of works when you take a typical algebra course is you learn how to solve basic one-step equations like 2x is equal to eight, and then you move up to uh, this is one step because it only takes one step to solve this equation. Then you have things like 2x plus one is equal to 10. This is a two-step equation. Then you have multiple step equations. You gotta learn how to uh, solve equations before you move on to solving for a particular variable in an equation, all right? Now, of course, this is uh, generally, you know, we see multivariable equations when we're talking about formulas, but uh, this is an, a very important skill, again, as I kind of indicated in the beginning of this video, but before you uh, take on formulas, you gotta make sure you understand how to solve equations. Now, if you're struggling with equations, then it's probably a pretty uh, safe bet that you're struggling with formulas. And if you need review in uh, any of these matters, I'll give you some specific suggestions here in just one second. But I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that you are uh, reasonably okay with solving equations. All right, so uh, again here, what we want to do is solve for V. Now, I'm going to give you a hint here just in case you were confused or maybe a little bit not quite sure how to start this problem. So M uh, times V squared over G over R. Okay, so this is equal to F. Now, I want you to think of this equation. X over 2 is equal to 1 over 8. So this is a basic algebra equation, but what we have here is one fraction equaling to another fraction. So how can we solve for X? because this is one fraction. And if we can think of this other side of the equation as one fraction, maybe I just by putting it over one, well, we have one fraction that's equal to another fraction. Of course, this is a very simplistic kind of model of what's going on here. But uh, basically, the, what we need to do here to solve this equation is the same thing we need to do over here to solve for V. All right, so that's a bit of a hint. If you kind of want to just you know jump ahead and see if you can figure this out. But let's just review real quick how to solve for a particular variable when there's multiple variables going on in, equa in an equation or a formula. Okay, so here is a, a simple example. All right, now F is equal to M times A. This is another formula from physics. So uh, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Let's suppose we want to solve for A. So we're gonna have A is equal to something. Now here is what you need to do. Okay, so we have F, M, and A. These are our variables. So the particular variable that you're looking to solve for, that is the only thing you're going to think of as a variable in the equation or formula. And uh, this requires a bit of a mental jump, but uh, let's go ahead and kind of see that over here. So F is equal to M times A. I'm only thinking of A as a variable. So M and F 
for all practical purposes are just uh, effectively numbers. So let's just uh, kind of replace temporarily in our minds uh, for F, we'll uh, come up with this number 10, and for M, we'll put in a 2. So what would be the steps that we have to take in order to solve for A? Well, hopefully you're saying, well, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2, and you would be absolutely uh, correct. So A would be equal to 10 over 2. But what is in front of the A? Well, it's an M. Okay, so over here, when we're looking to solve for A, all we have to do is divide both sides of the formula by M. So force over mass is equal to acceleration. All right, so that's just a basic kind of review on how to solve for a particular variable when you have multiple variables going on in an equation or a formula. And hopefully all of this uh, is kind of like leading you down the path to figuring this out. So let's get back to our problem. Okay, so again, we're going to just think of the V, the variable V, as the only uh, variable in this formula. Now, as I kind of uh, hinted, okay, we're going to think of this as a fraction on the left-hand side. So F over 1 is equal to M times V squared over G times R. What can we do here? Well, hopefully, uh, let's kind of go back to this uh, problem, uh, X over, I think it was X over um, 2. What was the problem I wrote? Let me go back up here. For those of you that, oh, I erased it. <laughs> but uh, no big deal. I can come up with another simple example. I think it's x over 2 is equal to 1 over 8. Yes, I believe that's what this is. So what we can do here is use what we call the cross product. It's super easy. Uh, this is effectively a proportion. So 8 times x is 8x, and 2 times 1 is 2. So now I can solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 8. Okay, so this is how we solve this, and that's what we're going to do right here. We're going to use the cross product because this is effectively a proportion. Now, even if you don't know the names of these things, this is basically the easiest uh, kind of approach. So mv squared times 1, we'll have that on one side of the equation. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So mv squared times 1 gives us mv squared, and then f times gr gives us fgr. Okay, so... This is like our first major step to figure out how to solve this formula for V. Okay, now what do you think we're going to do here? Well, we want to isolate this variable, but we have an M in front of it. So what would be the next step? And hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, maybe we should just divide both sides of the equation or formula by M. And that's exactly what we're going to do, right? We need to isolate this V squared. So all I got to do is divide both sides by M. And of course, you can see that step right there. So M divided by M is 1, and that will give us 1V squared or V squared over FGR over M. Okay, so we're down to here. So we have V squared is equal to FGR over M. Now, hopefully all of you are saying, yes, Mr. U2 Math Man, I know how you're going, <laughs> how you're going to get the answer. So... Uh, that's great. And we're obviously going to finish this problem up. But uh, again, you know, if you're struggling with formulas, you got to learn how to work with equations. Now, this is super easy to solve for M because, you know, if you get confused here, what we have is like V squared is equal to some sort of fraction, maybe like 4 over 10. OK, so how do you solve for V? Well, we're going to take that next step. But before we do that, that last step, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we finish up this video. Now, what I'm trying to do with this particular YouTube channel is to grow it as big as possible so I can reach as many people as possible, okay? When I make a math video, you know, I just know from experience there is a lot of people who struggle with mathematics. And so I know there's people out there that can benefit from my, benefit from my math instruction. Hopefully, you're one of them. And if you're the case, well, please hit that, uh, that subscribe button. That's the best way to support my work. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go and finish this up. Super easy. We have V squared is equal to uh, FGR over M. So to solve for V, all we have to do is take the square root of both sides because the square root of V squared is V. All right, so we have V is equal to the square root of FGR over M. Now, some of you might be saying, well, should we put a positive and negative into it? Well, because this is a quadratic equation, we possibly could, but I'm not going to really kind of, um, you know, highlight that, that point right now. That is an important point when you're solving quadratic equations. But remember, this is a formula, okay? The main idea here 
is to rewrite this formula into uh, in for uh, in terms of another variable. All right, so the main thing here is you got to be great at solving equations. Now, if you need help with algebra, solving equations, working with uh, you know, formulas, you got to check out my, my uh, I'll probably say my Algebra 1 course and beyond. You can find links to that in the description of this video. Now, if you are not a math student and you're just like, you know, I'm just interested in learning this just for whatever reason, maybe you want to rebuild your math skills, well, I have the uh, I have a great course for you. It's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, here I start with basic math. I get into algebra, geometry, even some trigonometry and some other stuffs, other stuff as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.